you did not sign up to speak. I, I did. Did you? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I promise I did. Okay. I came from New York to speak here, so. Well, okay, please. Okay. Well, introduce yourself for the record. You have two minutes, please. <clears throat> All right, good afternoon. My name is Jim Vaughn, and I'm here because at the end of my life, I hope that I can say I helped make this planet a little cleaner instead of a little more poisoned. To that end, I've dedicated my life to a clean energy source that is indispensable if we want to curb carbon and nasty natural gas emissions. No matter who you are in this room, I think we all want the same thing. Support a technology we can leverage to supply our growing energy demand while not hurting anyone. And I thank the Commission for attempting to address climate change and supporting the 2025 land use extension. Thank you. I am a pro-nuclear environmentalist. I travel from New York and I work at a nuclear power plant there. I'm not here to save my job. I'm here because I want to save this planet. I worked with the nuclear navy. I understand the technology. I understand the risks. And I understand the bigger danger that's in false hope that solar and wind will solve all of our problems. There are some great ideas out there that may replace our aging nuclear fleet with other sources of clean energy. But the technology isn't there today when we need it. The wind doesn't always blow. The sun doesn't always shine. And energy storage technology just isn't developed yet enough to address that. Right now, we have to make a decision. What's a bigger threat to humanity, nuclear power or climate catastrophe? Not what is scarier to you, but what is actually a bigger threat. Again, not what you're most scared of. Separating the two requires some knowledge, requires facts and not fiction. I've heard a lot of fiction today. Nuclear waste is stored very safely today. Warm water discharges common to nearly all industries, will slightly favor some marine life and not others, yes. Earthquakes, by the way, did not hurt Fukushima, no matter what you say. It was the tsunami as a result of the earthquake, yes. Which Diablo Canyon and all U.S. plants are immune to. Uh, but by the way, no one was hurt from the nuclear plant at Fukushima, despite that being the worst catastrophe um, that we've experienced. There's no credible scientific evidence that babies are dying from nuclear plants. Let's throw that out right now. To me, the choice is clear. <coughs> The bigger threat is the poison that fossil fuels emit to the environment. Nuclear is a proven safe technology. For all the myths I've heard today, none are relevant and only slow down our transition off fossil fuels. The decision to shut down Diablo Canyon, Canyon for example, is based on us replacing the power loss with clean energy. For me, I think of how California could be at 100% non-greenhouse gas emitting electricity if we only want it to. Yeah. Instead, we'll be at the same level or worse we are today while the Earth continues to deteriorate. I understand if you fear nuclear more than carbon. Carbon's slowly undoing our planet before our eyes. We are the proverbial frog in the boiling water. Nuclear is a strange unknown to most that requires some independent research to really understand why it's safe. And it can't be easily handed out on a flyer with unsupported facts and fear-stoking hyperbole. Again, I come here from New York because I want to help this planet, like most of the people in this room. I hope that we can reach out and understand each other and find a solution before it's too late if it's not already. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.